the power of one choice at a time. Do you enjoy life and God's blessings? Or does it seem you live in a world that has gone very wrong for you? The quality of our lives represents, for the most part, the sum total of our decisions. If we make consistently good choices, we will enjoy a better life. If we make consistently bad decisions, our lives will be messy. If your life is more like the latter scenario, don't waste time and energy mourning your wrong choices because I have great news for you. To enjoy an abundant life, you just need to start making good choices. It's that simple. Today's verse is Proverbs 4 verse 25, which tells us, let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. While that verse doesn't mention choices, it implies them. As we must train our eyes to look directly forward for when distractions come, so must we develop a habit of making good choices. The circumstances of your life right now might very well be the direct result of a series of bad choices you have made. Are you in debt because you have made many bad financial choices? Are you suffering the pangs of loneliness because of how you treat others? Are you sick or lethargic because of a series of unhealthy choices that involve fatty food, not getting enough sleep, or pushing your body too far at work and not having balance in your life? The way to overcome self-inflicted suffering that resulted from a series of bad choices is start a new series of right choices. It is that simple. The way to climb out of a mess is to do the opposite of what you did to get into trouble. You get out of the mess by making one good choice at a time. I must warn you that reversing the process will not happen overnight, nor will it eliminate natural consequences such as ending up in prison for drunk driving. But, making a turn and repenting of your wrong living will begin to generate positive results. It might take months or years to reverse the misery your bad choices created, but you will gain some immediate results. For example, after a full day of making only good choices, you will have a peaceful, easy feeling when you lay down to sleep, a feeling you have long forgotten. At the end of each week, each month, each quarter, you will look back and see amazing rapid results. It's been said a journey of a million miles begins with a one step. The Bible says, line by line, precept by precept, a little here, a little there. How true it is. You can't get a million miles from here without that first step and each subsequent step, no matter how small. So it is with the quality of our lives. One good choice after another. A choice to pray. A choice to spend time in God's Word. A choice to pass on junk food. A choice to stay off wicked internet websites. A choice to love your neighbor and hate no one. Those choices will lead to a peace that passes understanding before you know it. You did not arrive in a bad spot due to one wrong choice. You got into trouble through a series of bad decisions. To improve your life, you need to make one good choice after another over time. You must do so as consistently as you made the wrongful choices that produced negative results. And no matter what, do not procrastinate. Do not think you can get away with just a little bite of the forbidden fruit, for it will bite you like a snake before you even know what happened. No matter what bad situation you may have gotten into, there is still hope, and you can have a good life. You cannot do a thing about the past. It's gone. But you have much control over your future. God is a redeemer, and he delights in giving a second or even 30 second chances. Trust God if you have a situation too big for you. Invite him to help you, trust in and follow his directions, make one good choice after another, and you will see amazing results. Let me end with a brief prayer. Father, please give me wisdom I need to make the choices that are aligned with your will. Please help me to leave past disappointments behind and begin to make decisions that will bring a bountiful harvest of good things into my life. In Jesus' name, amen.